assistance, especially if you're versed in the things that are going on in Hawaii. This was sent to me earlier um, because it seems like, uh, aside from this post that I'll read in a moment, just the 20 minutes that I spent researching it, it, it seems like, again, the powers that be are forming little societies to steal the rights of an indigenous people. And... Um, that's what it was presented as, but just in quick review, I'll show you some links in a minute. I'll put them below. Um, but these people need help, and so it was relayed to me uh, by somebody that knows that you know I like to support causes that are worthy, and this certainly seems worthy. Um, we're working now to schedule a date for a live show as soon as possible. Uh, but let me read this to you, and I'll go over a few other facts, and then I'll leave you with some links, and hopefully you can contribute with some information, because this is outside of uh, my knowledge, and so uh, any help from uh, natives of Hawaii would be very much appreciated. Uh, Nay Apuni, uh, and I butcher foreign languages and, and Indian names and those things, so forgive me if I pronounced it wrong, but is a process that is taking place right now where the state of Hawaii and the Department of Interior are forcing native Hawaiians to vote for self-governors. We want our independence. Our kingdom lands are currently being leased by the state of Hawaii. The whole process will ultimately relinquish our inherent sovereignty and native rights to manage our natural resources and govern our people. It does sound very familiar, doesn't it? Moving along. They see land and assets. We see our native rights being stripped away for our future generations. This is all done digitally, and they have no physical office location. The head of the snake is that website. Here are the organizations, uh, organizations involved. And um, the request actually came for hackers to take this site offline. Um, I'm not going to tell anybody to do anything. I'm just going to tell everybody to act appropriately according to your standards. That's all. Uh, but, okay, so let's look at some links. Um, this is on the uh, Office of Hawaiian Affairs website. I'll link you to this. It tells you about, or in their terms, what Nea Pony is, uh, who the um, leaders are. And I want to point out something that um, the directors are unpaid volunteers. Well, we know how that goes. That just means you don't take an official paycheck. It doesn't mean necessarily that you're not receiving some financial gain for your contribution and your time or whatever, the, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they will not run for office within the nation building process. Um, office of Hawaiian Affairs does not have any decision making authority in the nation's building process. So once this is accepted, um, there, uh, it, it's kind of like Monsanto running on, running wild. Okay, some more stuff I touched on, um, I went over here, this is uh, the neapuni.org website uh, to find out a little bit about them. They're getting funds from this foundation, Akami Foundation. When we go look at them, they're an American nonprofit organization that sponsors mathematics competitions. Um, I don't know what else they do, but it just seems awful odd that we're... Uh, Anyway, um, there was one other thing that I had, uh, oh yeah, um, basically the people that are heading up this group uh, are referred to as Ali'i, uh, Ali, I, I'm not sure, whatever, uh, but basically that is um, hereditary nobles, um, you know, chiefs, uh, the ruling class from uh, what some might call is, you know, ancient times, ancient Hawaiian society. So these are people that uh, have roots deep, deep into Hawaiian history. Um, some may think, well, that makes them natives. Uh, well, sure. Um, 
but that doesn't mean they're not um, trying to steal from their own people. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I'm not versed in this, um, but it was brought to my attention. It feels uh, feels and seems very valid cause to support, and so I'm going to put this video out. I'm going to ask anybody with input for this to leave a comment below, or you can email me, however you want to contact me. Give me any information, pro or con, so that I have a good baseline, and I will be talking to the person very soon. We have uh, exchanged an email to confirm that we will do a live show, and now it's just a matter of narrowing down the time. So hopefully within the next week, two at the most, I'd like to get right at these things as soon as possible. Who knows, maybe by the weekend, whatever the case may be, I'll make myself available. Um, anybody that wants to support this when we do the radio show, obviously, will be welcome, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'll put a few links below for you. Um, so that you can check it out, maybe dig into some information, share this around, try to get some support for this cause. It does seem like, once again, indigenous peoples are being violated, and that's the angle I'm coming from so far. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.